This is an incredible day on Smosh Pit because we are ranking foods, but not in the way that you think. This is a different, incredible, amazing way that we're doing this video today. We found a subreddit called r slash frozen dinners where users will share microwave meals with each other and rate them one through 10. So today we're gonna be trying a bunch of those and then we're also going to be guessing what the Redditors rated them. And as people who are on Reddit stories and things, maybe we've gotten a good idea of that. What did you say, gang? I'm actually, uh, I actually like the frozen dinner subreddit. You actually, just, actually knew about this subreddit before. You wow. literally Whoa. did. I'm actually. In uh, yeah. finger, um, uh, I'm um, actually. actually yeah. How often do you eat frozen dinners? You know, that's neither here that's nor huge. there. That's huge. I do live no. alone. No, that's important. Okay. Uh, and like, where's the difference between a frozen dinner and frozen foods? Is it the tray? Frozen? Oh no, that's yeah, I think it's, it's the tray. It's a I meal. think it's multiple it's, things. Yeah, there's yeah, multiple yeah. things yeah. you have to heat up at the same time. And there's more right. than one it step on that. On yeah, one because there's not. I, I'm sure those are probably part of it because you know, like, there's the the the, the Trader Joe's like samosas. Yeah, those or are gyoza. Yeah, yeah, the pot stickers or like uh like the full meal Shumai. where it's like lean cuisine. Oh, there was a dark period in my life where I was a lean cuisine Same. a day. I was a hot pocket bitch. Ooh. Ooh, I was a bagel bites or taquitos bitch. Ooh. All right, let's try the first dish. Oh. Salisbury steak. That's that, not Salisbury steak, bro. Sad. This is meat loaf. This is meated loaf. Um, It smells meaty. Dude, honestly, it's this, in gravy. It might be Salisbury really steak. Potatoes. Whoa, that was all one unit. This looks like a SpongeBob close-up. I want to try the potatoes first. Is that? I'm going to try it together. Yeah, bro, you leapt at it. I work at Smosh. When they put a plate of food in front of me, it's either going to be disgusting, I have to figure out what's wrong with it, or I have to rank it. Okay, before we eat, <laughs> this is the Stouffer's Classic Meatloaf, guys. Mm. Okay, fun fact. The first modern American meatloaf recipe consisted of chopped beef, salt, pepper, onions, milk-soaked bread, and eggs. It first appeared in the 1870s. Wow. Bro, they were cooking. That was a different time. Oh, cool. But rather than being the dinner go-to we know today, meatloaf started as a breakfast option. What? Uh, that sounds British as hell. <laughs> we were more British back then. Like a waffle sausage? Yeah, no, I think if I were to have either of these separately, they'd be terrible, but together I can foresee yeah. this being a good option. All right, ready? There's something that you just can't miss with meat and potatoes. Yeah, cheers, bro, I'll drink cheers, that. Bro. Cheers, bro. Oh, cheers, bro. Not bad. Not bad. It tastes like a school lunch. And I'm like, are we ranking like, it, cause it's like rating it based on dinner, frozen dinner, typical quality, you know? I'm bummed that it doesn't have like a corn with it, you know? Yeah. Sure, I bet. I think you're the like, first person to ever be bummed there's no corn. That's not true. Really? <laughs> I think corn would add something to this. It would add like a little sweetness. A little more, like a little more, but more texture. So. Yeah. Okay, for those of you at home that are like me, I cannot eat something unless it's spicy. So Ooh! Spicy. Oh my god. I mean, honestly, anything that I eat at home, That's I'm gonna put hot sauce on it. Look how beautiful that looks. Give me a little hors d'oeuvre. I would definitely put like salt and pepper on this. I would put pepper on this. Mm. Just pepper. I think this is actually really tasty. Yeah, I would get down on this as is. Like, imagine me watching Sex in the City and eating this in like 2019, 2018. Yes! Yeah. Same. You guys yep. are gonna be honest. I'm in bed, my laptop's right here. The hot sauce really did take it to the next level for me. I, I, I believe in, in its goodness, but yeah. Okay, I feel like Reddit, since it's like frozen dinners is the bag, like I think they might rank this like a seven. I was gonna say seven I as well. love seven. Yeah, yeah, this is giving six or seven. I, I, I would also agree with six. Stouffer's, I, I get their, uh, they have a spaghetti and meatballs that's actually really good. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. I love Stouffer's. So are we comfortable with seven? I think to about... together they'd be a seven, separately probably a five. Do yeah. we want to say a six? I'm going to say six. Yeah. Six. Okay. Love six, it. Seven, okay. Give it six as a color palette. The Redditors stated eight out of ten. Damn. Okay. OP said, closest to homemade as it gets. Mm. Meatloaf, very meaty and flavorful with minimal processing. The gravy is a touch salty, but it's good. The mashed potatoes are, in my opinion, the best in the freezer aisle. Honey. Whoa. <laughs> See, I'm afraid to try these by themselves. Um, I actually didn't mind it. It's the, just texture was bizarre. Yeah, I will say, like for meatloaf, yeah, I guess that's right. Because like, some people, some companies would be like, yeah, this is Salisbury steak. Yeah. I, I, I like that the gravy wasn't like the, um, Cloudy gravy. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's a good color. I love cloudy gravy, but not in a microwave thing. I want it to be like yeah. clear eat. And it's a th it's a thick slice of meat, love. All right, 
Well, we were wrong. They really love this one. So now we're understanding a standard here. Okay. okay. I'm going to have one more bite. On wow. Eight out of I love ten. It for you. Wow. Meatloaf is very close to Salisbury steak. What is Sal Salisbury steak? I feel like it's a. It's hamburger and gravy. Yeah, it's like a frozen dinner staple. So it's just like beef and gravy? It's literally hamburger meat and gravy. And, and, some, and like onions on it, I think. Okay. Let's try the next meal. Oh, man. I think I know the brand. Uh, me too. Big boy bagel bites. What is Let's it? go. I think it's Totino's. 100%. I need to eat this right now. Wow. I can okay, tell by go. the tomato chunks. Or the, uh, uh, okay. pepperoni, pepperoni chunks. I can tell by the, the potato. It I'm actually going to be so obsessed with this. Okay, here it we go. It actually looks pretty this good. This is also giving school lunch. See, I would put I would put yeah. red pepper flakes and pepperoni. Oh, 100%. Cheers. Put garlic butter. All right. Oh, three, two, my God. one. Mmm. Yep. It, it just tastes like a bagel bite. I hear Nickelodeon in the background. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's better than a bagel bite because it's easier to bite into because bagel bites are like thicker. Mm -hmm. oh, wait, guys, pizza rolls no. or bagel bites? Bagel bites. Pizza rolls. I think I'm also bagel bites. Because Hot Pockets are both. What if that coordinated with Team Jacob or Team Edward? Whoa. I guess to some people it's really obvious. I didn't know it until a few years ago. Yeah, it's called a pizza roll because it's like the pizza ingredients wrapped in an egg roll. But it doesn't look like a pizza roll. But it doesn't Whoa. look like an egg roll. It's, an, it's, it's like egg roll like casing. I am having such a blast from the past right now while eating this. It's like mm -hmm. amazing. Okay, so this is called Totino's Party Pizza. Fun fact, the founding mother of frozen pizza is Rose Totino. Whoa. In 1951, wow. Rose and her husband Jim opened a restaurant called Totino's Italian Kitchen. Mm. By the end of the 60s, Rose and Jim were producing the best-selling frozen pizzas in the U.S. I'm saying nine. Nine. Uh, I feel like it wouldn't get a perfect 10 from our Redditors because they're just critical in that way, maybe? Yeah. It's left. Do you I, eat it all? Oh, yeah. Amazing. I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to be buying these. Okay. We're so we're thinking nine. Want to yeah. lock it down in? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The rating on Reddit was seven out of 10. <laughs> no, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to say those jelly bean mashed potatoes were a an A? I think we were nostalgically biased. I think we're used to the flavor. Mm. Oh, it, it's such a good taste. Really, yeah. really good. Let's see what OP said. OP was like, I'm stupid. <laughs> OP's like, I, I thought a seven was a nine. And a nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, they said classic rectangle pizza is always a nostalgia hit. Like, objectively, is this good? Probably not. But does it fill the gap in my soul left by re rectangle pizza that I love? Yes, those pepperoni cubes are so delicious and the crust is perfectly doughy, but it's definitely not the best frozen pizza you can buy. Then what is it? Did then what is it, OP? No, yeah. DiGiorno's got too much crust. It, it is, it kind of hurts your teeth, huh? It's like, oh. To be a microwavable pizza, yeah, that needs to be yeah. a specific thin. That's true. You are correct. DiGiorno's for the oven, bro. DiGiorno's for the oven, Totito's for the microwave, and the memories are for us. Oh! <laughs> and in the edit, it's gonna be like she said it really fast together and like- No, I hope they do you so dirty. <laughs> Next treat. Someone ordered wow. corn. Clean up on aisle. <laughs> Corn? Corn? No. Okay, I think when there is like a appetizer, a main, and a dessert, that is a true frozen. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. This is, this is, what is it? Kids cuisine, but adult. So you know what it is? This is definitely Hungry Man. You think so? Oh. It's gotta be Hungry Man. <laughs> I mean, it is, it is protein forward. This is for a Hungry Man. Is it Hungry, hungry Man? man. Uh, let's see. It looks, it looks like we got some. <gasps> Hungry man selects. I have never, I have never stooped this low. I will say. Okay. I've never, <laughs> I've never <laughs> bought is, Hungry Man. Is, but is, I, I feel like Stouffer's is below Hungry. Is man. Hungry yeah. Man bad or something? Uh, to me, like I like on the frozen dinner separate. Like not to spoil anything, I don't think they really f with Hungry Man. Yeah, wow. the mashed potatoes are scary. Fried chicken in a microwave dinner is that's a yeah, hundred percent. Um, fun fact: Swanson's Hungry Man meals were first introduced in 1973 as a larger portion option of the typical frozen dinner. At the same time, Rival Company Banquet introduced their own version of a larger frozen dinner titled The Man Pleaser. Oh. And The Girl Pleaser is just yep. a magazine? Yeah. Chicken. <laughs> okay, cheers. Okay, yeah, yeah I'm going for I the went meat, in. some of your meat. I just went in. Okay, I, 
I will say I peeled this apart, and this is like peeling apart as if a real chicken would. Yeah, it looks like real chicken. Much problems that I did too. Yeah, it's good. The the breading is actually decent. Okay. Here okay. We go. I'm willing to be absolutely roasted for what I'm about to say. Even though it is really good, there's really good fried chicken and really bad, I do believe it's really hard to fuck up fried chicken because it's just so good. You are so you sure? unbelievably incorrect. And I knew, I knew that would happen. <laughs> like this is really bad fried chicken and I still like it. Is what that I doesn't mean that it's not fed up. No. Yeah, that's, I, 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 what do you see mean? What, I see what you're saying. The what it's just saying. fried chicken, it's still gonna be delicious. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Like you can it's still it up, That's my though. point. The it's chicken itself, it's good. The, 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 the like, Fattiness comes through. The, really? the breading is is Dude. decent for a microwave dinner, and then but the mashed potatoes are really bland. The hot sauce is coming out. Perhaps I was too I was too harsh on Hungry Man. I actually don't mind the mashed potatoes. They're okay, so I'm going bland. in. I'm gonna dip the chicken in the mashed They're potatoes. They're so bland. Is the worst thing is the worst comment. Yeah. This does need a sauce with it though. Yeah, that's why I thought this was gravy, and I hate that there's pieces of corn in the brownies. Mashed potato really stopped it for me. <laughs> Yes, I agree. Mashed Whoa. potato tastes like if air conditioning was a solid. That's fair. That's, That's fair. awesome. That's what it tastes like. That's fair. I'm gonna Are you okay? The, I'm gonna try the yeah. dessert. I'm gonna try the brownie too. I'm gonna try the brownie. There's corn in there. There's so much corn in the there brownie. There is a lot. We don't of have corn, corn in ours. It is corn brownies fully for us. That's why I didn't. I would cook. like to say their brownie is liquid and ours is solid. Nice. Yeah, because the corn, the cold corn, we got in. There was a lot of corn. Ooh, in there. and it didn't. Brownie is delicious. Yeah. There's literally so much corn in ours. Truly, just like a lava cake. It's filled. yeah. It does taste like a lava cake. I'm gonna say six or seven. So I would, I would even go as low as five. I'll do that. I'll, let's let's yeah. Let's start bringing in the lower numbers. Let's start making big swings. Five. 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 Let's see what the Redditors think. Oh, what? 10 out of 10. Okay, this is absolutely insane. I okay. knew Tostitos had more, not Tostitos, to stop. Totinos. Totinos was more than nostalgia, and I know this is chicken is bad. This is chicken is bad. <laughs> this is chicken is bad. Okay, Hungry Man TV dinners, OP said. The fried chicken quite possibly is the king reign supreme TV dinner of all time. Uh, so many emojis, they are a millennial. A favorite indeed. I guess like hearing that, it's like, yeah, bone in fried chicken in a TV dinner. Pretty this cool. is probably pretty good for uh, that's, the standard. It's better than I would think it would be, but like KFC, it's right there, man. Next meal. <gasps> I know exactly what this Whoa. is. Oh, is this beef stroganoff? It's Definitely. Beef stroganoff. Beef stroganoff. I think you gotta let it breathe. This is called Banquet Swedish Meatballs. Oh. Swedish Meatballs. Swedish Meatballs. meatballs. Uh, according to some sources, Swedish Meatballs are actually based on a recipe King Charles XII brought home from Turkey in early 18th century. Wow. So I'm gonna tell you this. Whatever we're about to eat, no matter what, I'm gonna enjoy it. You yeah. think so? I, I think I'm not. I don't know. And that's just yeah. what happens when it, it comes in a noodle. All right, ready? Here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. Whoa. Like you love that? Oh, I don't like it. I yeah, I don't think I'll like it. Gonna like it either. Okay, Angela, let's, let's see. It's not compatible. Oh. This is a love of love oh, is blind no. pasta. No, no. <laughs> No, no, no. It needs seasoning. It no, needs seasoning. No, no. Oh yeah, get that Cholula. No, no, no. It needs just, no, it needs like salt and pepper, frankly. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, like the texture is is fine. The meat, it's just like there needs to either be, Oh, I don't I think it. meatballs fit in this at all. I, I think the meatballs are, the are, 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 yeah. are doing some work. Meatball, yeah, you must do it with the meatball and the noodles, what yeah. I'll say, because the noodles are just. It's still concerning together. I, I think this. No, no, You like no. it still? <laughs> I think no, like a, no, a, no. A, a could be elevated a lot by uh, honestly just salt and pepper. Some garlic. Like literally like garlic salt, it would have been enough. Got this weird umami flavor going on. <gasps> oh. Yeah, you guys are getting like this so is crazy. upset. It's so bland. I think it's also, honestly, I think it's also like, it's like this is, I remember from my childhood hating this shit. Yeah. Like it's just super, super bland food and I've always had a palate. It's like, give me fucking flavor. And so yeah. when I eat this bland yeah. shit, I'm like, Fuck. When it's bland, so bland never makes me disgusted. It makes me disgusted. Like, it when texture it, makes me disgusted. Yeah, but that's yeah. because this is so bland that my senses, the t 
they're turning to the texture. Yeah. yeah. And the texture is just, <laughs> there's no like, ugh. Absence of flavor isn't disgusting to me. Disgusting flavor is disgusting. Mm, bad, like lack of texture fucks me up. I can't do, I'm a texture girly. It is almost a lack of like, if the pasta is a little more al dente. I would hope that Reddit would give this a three or a four. Yeah. We want to be wishful, we can say four. Yeah, I'm gonna say maybe three. What do you think, Chance? I like, I like four. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney. <laughs> it was upsetting. I really did like that one. Okay. Three out of 10. Damn. Okay. Oh, now I, we're I, cooking. Apology. We are aligned, Reddit. OP said, four mediocre spongy. Said, <laughs> yeah, spongy. Ah. OP said, sorry, I just took a shower in this dale, in this tray. They said, they said, four mediocre spongy meatballs, mushy pasta, and thin bland gravy. It was edible, I guess. IG. You said that. I feel like you're mad at me. This isn't my dish. Yeah, I'm mad that you made me eat this. <laughs> I it didn't was do that. Like... You said, mm mm, chance. Go, go on, get a bite of that. <laughs> I think I'm just being fed over by being hungry. Yeah. Me too. I'm thinking, I'm I think that's I'm good. Looking, that I'm looking hungry. at it and I'm like, I would eat more of that. Me too. No. I, I would eat just the noodles, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Oh, if I, I had nothing else. No, 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 no. Like I, I was, think there are such lower places to go. Yeah. Oh my God. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. But you could make some buttered pasta and then you'd be better off. Yeah. But you wouldn't be able to just pop that in the microwave. Let us cleanse ourselves and go to the next meal. <laughs> Let's go. Let's oh, go. Yes. Let's, Let's go. go. Okay, my God. No, we're excited now. What's in them? What if it's one of the weird ones? <laughs> it might be one of the weird oh, ones. Oh, shit, you're right. <laughs> Such a good point. Well, we're going to have to cut into what it. What is this Zoomer ass packaging? You this see this shit? <laughs> <laughs> Zoomer ass packaging. I've actually never looked at these in the daylight. I've never it is looked like, at a hot dog. It's, them, it's, like, it's like seeing a naked, <laughs> it's like they're, they're helpless. Let's see, let's see. Uh -oh. oh no. Cheese and ham. Oh, it's the ham and cheese ham ones. And cheese. I remember the ham and cheese ones. I never, oh, I boy. never f***ed with anything other than pepperoni. Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember no, the ham and there cheese were ones. The, there were a couple that I f***ed with. I can't remember what was inside them because it's so buried in my middle school or the middle memory right now. Okay. I remember the ham and cheese ones. It was always when we didn't have the pepperoni ones. Confirmed. Hickory ham and cheddar hot pocket. Fun fact, the hot pocket debuted in 1980 under the name The Tasty Witch. After some recipe changes, the item eventually got a new name, Hot Pocket, and the rest is history. Wow. Okay. These do hit different when you're gaming. This is crazy. I actually don't know if I'll be able to swallow this. Can we get a controller? Yeah, I don't know Spencer. if I'll be able to Yeah. <laughs> can we All right. Can we find a headset? Y'all ready for? Honestly. Oh no. This is gonna be fine. Don't okay. squeeze it. I squeezed it. I squeezed it. Cheers. I squeezed, I squeezed it. it. Cheers. Cheers to many memories of friends and. Cheers. Cheers. Five nights at Freddy's. Cheers. Oh. What the f uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> The cheddar is actually oh? not, The cheddar. It needs way less cheese for me. Okay, see the ham is what I have issue with in this. The, <laughs> Here's, the You I hear have, that sound? I, I have a pitch. Yeah, it's, I it's feel like, dense. I feel like if you like squeezed out the filling, that's, that's disgusting. Like it would be good like with just like, almost like the remnants. Yeah, an echo. Yeah. An like echo of ham and cheese. Yeah, do, you, do you guys dare me? Or like it needs less cheese and like crispy bacon. Like I would rather oh. have charred overcooked bacon inside there than oh, yeah. this weird. cheese. <laughs> this cheese is giving chlor, chlor. Oh my God, oh my God! Oh, oh my God! Spencer, how it, are you so calm right now? It will lit like this is f***ing disgusting. My it's tummy, bad, my tummy just did a freaking backflip. Oh, it's got so many f***ing lights on it. Ah! <laughs> yeah, this is yeah, messed up. Yeah, that's pretty dire. This is now like I don't turn want... the lights on in the club. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the floor. <laughs> Girl, you were just making out with, you just saw her for the first time. <laughs> Thought she was cheese. Nah, dude, that ain't cheese. <laughs> That's chlorine and Bro, glue. this is so crazy. Last night, <laughs> I thought you were cheese. <laughs> I thought you were cheese. It, it, honestly, it makes me think if you mix chlorine, glue, okay. and a little cheese. It's making so, me sick. I unfortunately have a feeling that someone out there loves this. I, yeah, I they're think gonna you, there's, some like there's, some there's some freaks. There's some freaks. There's some freaks that are like, but you're pretty good. It's my guilty pleasure. And maybe and I should like, give it a chance. It, this makes it fun somehow. You know what I mean? This is gonna do something for people. If I had kept it in the packaging, I think I would have had more fun. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say three. Oh, I was gonna give it a little higher. Because I think saying. I think somebody liked that. That's this. your I think my they're gonna, rating is a two. Now that we saw that with like really nice lights, 
disgusting. Yeah, but I like think for I think somebody in a game or <laughs> if someone like in a dark room playing yeah. Mario Party is gonna give yeah. that a seven. No one's playing Mario Party and eating this. I picked a game, Spencer. No, Get over I know, it. And you picked the wrong one. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I think, but maybe like yeah. So you're saying three? What do you think? Four? Yeah. What do you guys think? You guys think higher? Or yeah. like six or five? It's a two for me. But I'm gonna guess like at least a five. Okay, let's go four. Four, I think four. Four. Okay. Okay. Reddit said ten out of ten. You were right, dude. Some sick. F I knew it. Someone <laughs> there sick loves it. Fucking fun little I don't know cannoli wrap. No. What? No, no man. No. Go eat a pogo stick if you want nostalgia. That's so true. A microwave has beeped in the distance. It's time for the next food. Uh-oh! Chicken pot pie. Marie has entered the chat. I used to live within uh, 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 the proximity of a Marie Callender's, uh, the restaurant. Yeah, Hell yeah. And uh, dude, I gotta say, you can, go, you can pop in there, you get a slice of appy pie. Oh. Appy pie. Yeah. Huge Emma. carrot entered the chat. Whoa. Oh my god, we've been, I've been looking for your carrot. Man. carrot. My man. Yep, this is the Marie Callender's chicken pot pie. Fun fact, the history of pot pies can be traced all the way back to the Neolithic age, thanks to discoveries made by archaeologists. Imagine like they find a rock and they're like, oh my god. And they it crack it open and it's, and they open, it's a perfectly cooked pot pie. Oh, and there's a carrot. See you down there. Uh, okay. Hey, see, see you on at the, the bottom side. of the slide. <laughs> Dude, here we go. When is Smosh gonna do a water park? Challenge pit, we go to a water park. Marie. Mm -mm. You stun her. I really like it. I love Marie. I'm not a chicken pot pie person. I'm not either. Same, Me but the either. crust is really good. And it's just peppery enough. I can taste the black pepper. I think if they did a meat-free one, I could do it. Yeah. Yeah, the, the chicken I the chicken was my least favorite part. It yeah. like kind of yeah. was I a avoided the gelatinous. Chicken. I got a little piece of it. But I, the I, broth and the, the uh, is, flakes. The crust is good. Buttery, flaky. Now, crust. dude, imagine like an apple pie in this crust. Oh, good. Or peach cobbler. The carrots are bad. I'm having a bad time. Okay. This alone, this is almost the size of this. <laughs> That's your bang. I'm gonna say eight out of ten. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think Reddit will be like that. I think eight. Like I, the flavors are there. The flavors are Textures there. for me. Somehow the flavors are there, even though I looked in the ingredients and I didn't see one spice. Really? <laughs> I love going. Somehow the flavors maybe are there. Maybe it's like just the simplicity and healthiness of it. Yeah. There's like a turkey baste in there. Of some, or like and a it broth. Is not chicken broth. There's chicken broth. Okay, let's see what they say. <gasps> Reddit score two out of I, ten. Literally, Dude. these these are little these boys. People. These are little boys. Oh. <laughs> and they probably stuck their thumb in there. Yeah, these are little Anyone. boys. Okay, so OP said the crust tastes grainy and has a strange aftertaste. The gravy consistency is not vicious enough. Viscous. Viscous enough, yeah. Enough, and the chicken chunks may be too big. Banquet's pot pies are a thousand times better, which is shocking because people speak highly of these. I'm sorry that I love the charge on the eight out of 10. No, I I, I believed it. I thought it was gonna be above five for sure. Everything we think we should go the opposite. Okay. It's like the veggies were too much or something. Yeah, they saw vegetables, they were like, I'm out. Next dish. Okay. Oh, bitch. I know what this is. I knew this was I coming. This I knew this oh was coming. God. I think I, I knew had this, this was coming. Before. We haven't, I knew we haven't seen coming. her represented yet. Wow. Oh. I knew this was coming. Okay. okay. I used to eat these all the time. Me too. I feel like I've definitely had this before. Me too. Yeah, I 100% have. Okay, you ready? Ready? Yeah. This is the Lean Cuisine Sesame Chicken. Sesame Chicken. Fun fact, in 1981, Lean Cuisine meals were so popular during their first year of business that they were cons constantly sold out in supermarkets across the country. Wow, imagine that for a new business. That's really cool. Okay, yeah, ready? Okay, here we go. Lean, Three, lean. Two, one. two, one. Like I said, salt microwave. Yeah. I wanted it to be better than it is. Yeah. I have such fond <laughs> memories of eating this. Yeah. It's just kind of runny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. runny is a perfect way to put it. I wish there was a little more bite to the vegetables. I'm gonna. Um, it's like, are people scared? Like, did have they done tests where it's like? Oh, we put like we threw some pepper in there, and people were yeah. like, <gasps> like they have the worst people in their focus groups that are like, ah, too scary, too hard, too crunchy, no. I've added sriracha, and I'm really excited about it. Ooh, good call. I didn't oh. think about 
<laughs> oh, it cannot be that good, dude. F off. <laughs> I love that. Another thing we keep thinking about when we talk about bland, is we're not thinking about how pe people make these to be the cheapest, like really cheap options. And that's why they taste sometimes like. Did they do it for you? That bite was even worse because it was, <gasps> it was, it, that was, it was so much water. You're like, no. <laughs> no, I like it. <laughs> no, you don't. It's good. No, there was a lot going on in my mind. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm gonna fight y'all on this one, unfortunately. That's fine. Yeah, no, this is us? bad. I'm saying three. My rating is a three, purse. Oh. Three. But with the sriracha, it's a five. I want the record to show, I would guess six. Reddit says six oh. out of ten. Thank you. Tasty, but barely any chicken. Oh, we got like the biggest piece of yeah, chicken. Yeah, dude. She's yeah. the alpha chicken. The alpha chicken. Or Let's see you your chicken versus ours. So ours Whoa. is long. Oh, oh, my, oh my ours, God, there's ours is... crumbled under pressure. Sorry. No, I was I was trying to cut it because I didn't want to put that whole thing in my mouth. Boom, boom, boom. Well, this boom, is where this boom. is where the boom. other one. Remember, it was real chicken, and this not this real is, chicken. Yeah, this Some is weird the, this is the chicken shit. I expect in in. Yeah, meals. the other one was like had bones and. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? They're all like the chicken that doable. Is... <laughs> <laughs> stop! I'm just stop! Saying, stop. I'm, just saying, I'm saying you come home from a long day at work. You're like, I'm not gonna order in tonight. You go into the freezer, you open up the freezer door, you pull out one of these, you pop in the microwave for what, say, three and a half minutes, you pull this out, and this is what your dinner is. You dude. know what's fun? I would be can I say? Yeah. I can also remember eating this exact meal, watching Avatar The Last Airbender originally on TV. Okay, how old were you? Uh, I don't know, young, super young. Okay, so like, you were just happy oh, by that, default. Yeah. Oh, that would speaking be of young, different. speaking of young, I would make all of these. I took care of my grandma for a really long time, and I lived with her. And she had basically no teeth. Yeah. She loved this Slurpee stuff, Aww. and you'd slurp it right up. So I don't even think we're thinking about like TV dinners are like for old people too, and that's why they can't have too much flavor. Can't and they have to be me easy. ableist, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love that. You're just hey. like, oh, by the way, my very sick grandma <laughs> yeah. loves, loves this. this. But like, that's so why. Yep. That's why these are popular. It's no, because I, yeah. like, there's a lot of old people. Meanwhile, that love me in my mid twenties, like getting down on like these, watching Avatar: The Last Airbender <laughs> on Netflix, legitimately. I'm just saying, there's better options out there. There is. It gets better. Whoa. Oh, I no. actually don't, oh my God. Oh my God, what is that? <laughs> don't be, you're like, you're on eat it or eat it right now. Don't no, do that. What, what is that? I don't know. Is that apples? That can't be apples. It is apples. No. Oh! <laughs> it's not apples, cause that smells no! like fish. It smells like, it's a Oh, I think this fillet. is fish. No, I it won't do it. might be my limit. That like, might be my limit. I'll do the florets. Did you else. Yeah, okay, here, I'll talk about a food that like totally went away from me once I turned like 18. <laughs> I used to eat like fish sticks all the time. Like, but like, if, you're like in adult size, if, you serve, if, if you serve me fish sticks right now, I'd be like, what, <laughs> what? what is this? <laughs> but no! Like, no! Look at me, I'm leaving. The crust I'm of the fish, leaving. the crust of the fish is so, oh. Oh, oh no, this, no, this is, act this is like, actually disgusting. This is, Ooh, this is so actually fine. really disgusting. Should I? <laughs> I have to dissociate from this somehow. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We don't need it yet, guys. We have a little more time. Uh, okay, this is apples. Healthy choice lemon pepper fish. Fun fact healthy choice frozen dinners were initially created after the company's founder suffered a heart attack. Yeah, he so knew. you guys are being really, uh... <laughs> <laughs> he knew he had to mend his ways, and on the way to changing to a healthy diet, realized that those foods could actually taste pretty good. Thus, in 1989, the Healthy Choice food line was born. So I, we I, put I, apples in water? No, yeah. Apple water! Yeah, apple, apple water, dude! Apple, apple water, water jeans. jeans! I literally, like, fish with a wall. Up. With a wall! Okay, here we go. The things we do. Oh! Okay, it's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> what you do? The apples are dire. No. Oh, let me guess. Leave. Reddit's gonna put this a nine out of ten. No, this is this. this is this is one out of ten. This is zero. Oh, he did the apple. Okay. You slurped. Lurp. That shit. You slurped. You derped. -de apples aren't terrible. Okay, guys. Reddit said. Okay, we're guessing. What are we guessing? Two, one. 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 Okay, you guys are about to be fucking pissed. <laughs> oh my god. Seven out of ten. OP said apples were just in water. Fish could have been crispier, but was tasty. 
Not bad for 280 calories. I almost fully retched. Yeah, me too. The ch the, the, the fish was was pretty bad. What kind of fish is it? It's fish, bro. Mystery fish, generic <laughs> fish. Oh, oh man. If, 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 if fish were fish extras TM. in a movie, that's the fish. It's like yeah. when you're like, when you see a really weird dog and you're like, what kind of breed is that? And they're like, dog. <laughs> yes. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Get it out of here Please. right now. Next day. We should, we, should, we, should, we should push it all the way off and just yeah. push it onto the ground. The next <laughs> day. Yeah. Oh. Celebrate yeah. good time. Come on. That mac and cheese looks crazy. Those nuggets look pretty good. They got the pepper in them. Dude, when, when chicken nuggets have like visible pepper, yeah. it's over. It's over. Put sprinkles on anything, I'm happy. Cheers. Ding, Cheers. Ding, Cheers. Ding, Cheers, guys. Mm. Um, oh, fake chicken. Was not prepared for how cold the corn was. It's like if, if, the, if the chicken was bread. Ooh. It is bread. The chicken's pretty bad. Chicken's, chicken's pretty, bad. pretty bad. Chicken's pretty bad. And I love it. Yeah, it's a good texture, though. It's a good texture for me. Oh, get me that mac. I'm scared of this mac. Uh-oh. It's a little cold. It's cold. Is the mac cold, too? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Okay, then that, that's oh what I said. Okay, it's frozen. It's a little frozen. It's still frozen. What I will say is the chicken's all the way the warm and cooked. Me, yeah. yeah. So I would think it was done too. Oh, I love Mac, though. This is, oh my God, the, the okay, the brownie did not cook. Oh my God. Huge. Do they get put oh, the together? Oh, I frozen. Honestly, the brownie's all that's saving this for me. Wow. Yeah, like I couldn't agree more. Mm. Guys, this is the kids' cuisine all star nuggets. All star. Fun fact. At one time, Kid Cuisine had two mascots, a polar bear named The Chef and a penguin named BJ. I'm going back in for some of this uh... brownie. Brownie. We mm. have to imagine that it's properly heated, maybe. For the edges before. of our brownie are, are cooked. And I really like it. I it's love just, it. It's just so liquid. That but this is also really... nostalgia. And we've learned that these Reddit f***s are not fans of nostalgia. No, they were. The hot pocket got 10 out pizza. of 10. Oh. I guess you're yeah. right. <laughs> okay, guys, what are we thinking? Honestly, though, really quick, f Mary Kill this plate. <laughs> Fuck that. Uh, Mary Kill best friend. Marrying mac and cheese. Oh. No, I'm I'm marrying the brownie. Killing the corn. Best friend corn. <laughs> chicken. First name, chicken. Mary brownie kill mac and cheese. Mary chicken. <laughs> chocolate. Best friend <laughs> mac and cheese. Best friend corn. Kill mac and cheese. Wow, you guys are corn heads. <laughs> okay, guys, what's the number? Four. Five. Five. Five? You think Reddit calls this a five? I think Reddit's gonna call this an eight. Four. I think Reddit's gonna call this a three. Five. I think Reddit's gonna call it above. Yeah. Five, eight. six, uh, seven. Eight. My final answer is two. Okay, whoever has the closest to this rating wins this video. That's fair. Okay? That's okay. a fair assessment. Oh my God. Okay. Eight. Six. Two. Seven. Okay. Ready? Reddit said 10 what? out of 10. Price is right rules. <laughs> oh man, dude. That is... Happy dude. birthday. <laughs> <laughs> OP said, I'm shocked. Growing up, I would always want these, but was never allowed to get them. Now that I'm an adult, I'm pretty sad I didn't grow up with these. The nuggets were crispy, even though it was microwaved. Mac and cheese had good flavor, and corn was corn. No surprise there. Corn was corn. The brownie was the weakest, but also not bad. Dude, this guy needs to be in, in a facility. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how old they are, because if they were like 22. Do kids still have this, or is this just for our generation? They still I'm have sure this. They, I'm sure that like, people still buy them for kids, yeah. you know? But our snacks were cool like this, you know? Like we had like yogurt with like, like Oreos on top of it. Now, yeah, I mean, now people have just like applesauce. No, they, like, they, they, they definitely still have, they definitely yes, still have the, uh, dirt like, in a cup. I just thought the health mob would have grabbed it by now. I <laughs> thought the woke left would have completely destroyed all semblance <laughs> okay. of fun and food. <laughs> all in all, Reddit was kind of all over the place, but do you, how do you guys feel about how you were in coinciding with them? I feel like we were so off. Yeah, I exactly. feel like we were so off, but I think we were so right. Yeah. yeah, I think uh, yeah. yeah, I think our ratings are better, are more yeah. accurate. One hundred percent. We all had that pizza, and we were all delighted. Yeah, and dude. I've never actually had their actual pizza. I've only had the the bagel Same. bites. The bites. Uh, oh, I've had the pizza. What was your go-to like favorite sleepover uh, microwave dinner? 
I, honestly, the pepperoni hot pockets. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Pepperoni hot pockets are great. I'd have or bagel bites or pizza rolls. Yep. You do hot, uh, hot pockets and a big carton of flavor blasted goldfish. Whoa. Oh, flavor blasted. We made nachos with the Doritos. Whoa. Jalapenos on them, that's, some chicken, some shredded cheese. And that's why you live life to the fullest. And that's why I live life living the vida loca. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guys, this has been Reddit versus Smosh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let us know if there's any other types of foods we should try, if we should do another Frozen Dinners episode, other iconic meals that we missed, or is there other genres or types of foods we should try, like um, raw. I don't raw. Know. Raw. raw, honey, raw. Love you guys. Put who you'd f Mary kill on the <laughs> comments. <laughs> you guys do it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you. Bye. Yeah.